Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here for another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. We're going to look at another beer from the Ham Brewery in Norway. I really enjoyed their, their Hundbach, which was sort of like an Imperial Flanders Red Ale. And this one, I'm going to butcher this name, is Krokebeck. It is a sour ale brewed with crowberries. And I don't think I've ever had a crowberry before. So, uh, this should be a really interesting beer. Uh, not much of a hiss on that. Crowberries, yeah, I, I was guessing maybe they're sort of a darker berry. Okay, let's get that poured out. Not a lot of carbonation, a little bit. Pours out a really hazy red color. I mean, that's a really nice looking, really reddish beer. Um, really no head on there. Um, very, very minor carbonation. Uh, kind of clinging to the glass a little bit. Um, seven percent beer, so it's a sort of imperial sour ale, if you will. Let's get the nose. Mmm, smells wonderful. Definitely reminds me of of you know some lambics. You certainly have your your funkiness in there. You know some some of that uh, earthy hay going into what horse blanket smells. And then you're getting a, a lighter, like, red berry kind of note. So maybe crowberries are um, a little lighter. It doesn't seem like it's like a darker, like a blackberry or, or even a raspberry. But um, kind of reminds me a little bit, I guess, almost like a blend between a cherry and a, like a cranberry kind of. I don't know. I wish I was more familiar with the berry. That would help with the nose. So, yeah, you got the fruit characteristics. Then you have the real funky... Horse blanky, kind of what you expect in a Belgian style lambic. So, uh, smells good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yeah, it's nice. Um, decent amount of uh, sourness up front. Okay, so up front you get a nice, good bit of um, really nice berry tartness. Uh, those souring bugs that you kind of get in typical Belgian beers. They're kind of right up front. It's not overly sour. Overall, I think it's actually pretty balanced out in the back end. The the berries aren't overly powerful in the in the beer. It's certainly not as fruit forward as some other uh, fruited sour ales, but um, it gives a nice kind of pleasantness. Uh, it, I haven't had a crowberry, so I don't know exactly what it tastes like, but it, it sort of reminds me a bit of like a, you know like. Cranberry kind of mixed with the cherry, kind of mixed with maybe like a raspberry. So after that kind of tartness, get a little touch of sweetness. Definitely a lot of like, you know, wheat character in there. Get like a real nice, it leads to a very vinous quality to it as well. Like a lot of like sour fruited lambics go. So you definitely get that sort of wine character. Touch of oak in the back end. It dries out real nicely and, and leaves a real, it's a real clean aftertaste. As far as the funky kind of flavor goes, it, to me on the taste it goes a little more uh, hay-like than really barnyardy uh, funky. So that's kind of interesting. I was getting a little more on the nose, but it's a real nice drinking beer. I wish it had more carbonation. It's really light on the carbonation. I prefer if it... Um, had a little more carbonation up front, I think it would really help kind of deliver that sourness to your tongue, really kind of attack your tongue with the sourness a bit more. But um, at, at least it's not completely flat. So the more I sip on this, it actually it kind of builds up a little more on the sourness in the back end, but I also notice um, the alcohol, that 7% does kind of come into play on the back end. But um, it's, it's a really solid beer from them. I, I do like the Hanbach better. I'm going to go with a B on this one. I think it's a really nice, nice above average. You know, easy drinking. Um, it's a fairly warm December day here. Uh, I just got done working in the yard, so I want something really refreshing, and this definitely works in that case. So we'll go with the B for the Kronkebeck Crowberry Style Sour Ale from the Hand Brewery in Norway. So I'm looking forward to trying even more beers from them. I want to get to their dark beers and the uh, the Odin's Tipple too that they do. So until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.